Today we learned the sentencing date for Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer that was convicted this week for the murder of George Floyd. The jury found him guilty on all three counts, including murder. Chauvin is being held at a maximum security facility. He will now be sentenced on June 16th. The former police officer faces up to 40 years in prison. Imprisoned fierce Putin critic Alexei Navalny, three weeks into his hunger strike, decided to call it off just as the Kremlin clamps down on his supporters. Patrick Revol has the details. Today, Vladimir Putin's fiercest critic Alexei Navalny ending his three-week hunger strike. Navalny was sentenced to more than two years in a prison camp in Russia back in February. Not long after, he started refusing food to demand authorities give him access to an independent doctor to treat severe back pain. But now he's stopping the strike, heeding warnings from his doctors that if he continues, he could die within days. Just months after Navalny survived a nerve agent poisoning, this week there were fears the world might be watching him die again. Protests were held in dozens of Russian cities on Wednesday. Nearly 2,000 detained, according to activists that monitor arrests. People responding to a call from Navalny's team to come out in defiance of threats from authorities of arrest. We can't not be there today because the Kremlin regime is killing a human being. They're killing him slowly, painfully, and in front of the whole world to see. Vladimir Karamurza understands better than most what Navalny's going through. The pro-democracy activist has survived being poisoned twice. It took me more than a year after both poisonings to, to recover, and I was not in prison. I mean, Russian prison is not the best place for the most healthy person, let alone for somebody who just a few months ago survived uh, poisoning by a chemical agent. The Kremlin is now moving to outlaw Navalny's organizations entirely, putting them in the same category as terrorist groups. Anyone participating or even publicly voicing support for Navalny could face long prison sentences. In the past two months, the Biden administration has sanctioned Russia for a slew of alleged bad actions, including Navalny's poisoning. But far from backing down, Russia has only escalated tensions. Massing troops near Ukraine, the biggest buildup since its 2014 invasion. The moves sparked a war scare. Russia's buildup left Ukraine and Western countries wondering if it was genuine preparations for an attack or if Putin was just posturing. Yesterday, though, Russia announced it was pulling back, ordering the troops to return to base. A sign that for now, the threat of a new conflict seems to have passed. Patrick Rievel for ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.